Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Thank you for always, always tuning in. I really do appreciate you all. Today, I'm going to be having a chat with you guys and today we're going to be talking about our side also. Oh, well, it could be anybody's main also. Side also, main also, just also. We're going to be talking about that today. Um, I've realized that a lot of times, many people are very um, afraid or shy or ashamed to talk about their side also for fear of rejection or of all the unknown whether you know people will find it funny that you know one has a side also or you're doing something or you're doing a job that is not recognized but I think the world has moved on and things has really changed now and to have a side also in your life is just is, is, a, is an asset it's great because we're all fighting to you know live a happy life and to have enough to spend and enough to you know take care of the family so you know I feel with all these reasons we should be proud of our side also we should be able to tell people what our side also is are and um, and that is why I feel we should be we should unapologetically you know go after our dreams we should push our businesses push our brand push our ideas our skills and we shouldn't be afraid to tell people about it now me for example I remember when I started my YouTube channel I was too ashamed to tell people about my YouTube channel uh, for fear of rejection or for fear or because I was shy actually mainly I think and I think also because I felt I didn't want to embarrass my teenage children because they, they, they watch YouTube a lot and there are a lot of younger people on YouTube you know making all kinds of funny videos and all that but I wanted to do something more creative but at that I was still very shy to tell people about my channel so as not to embarrass my kids but you know I've come to realize that it's, it's not about them and it's not about me too it's just about doing what is right and I believe what I'm doing on my channel is just sharing my ideas being creative and telling people how they can actually do things without necessarily spending too much money and after that, I start telling people about my channel and, you know, I'm more comfortable now to tell people about my channel because I started as an hobby, but I see this as my side also now because although I'm not anywhere making money, I'm not even making a dime with this channel right now, but I, I believe, you know, things can change over time and it can get better. And the most important is because I love doing this, I enjoy doing this, so whether, you know, I make money with it now or later I'll keep doing it because I really love doing this anyway it's not about me today it's about side also really I just want to talk about you know really encouraging us to be able to talk about our businesses our brand our ideas our skills without holding anything back or without feeling ashamed about what we do and a lot of new jobs are evolving as as uh, technology increases as as, as technology uh, also develops you know we now have inf being an influencer is a job now being a, a, a makeup artist is a job be a youtuber like this is a job be um, a hairdresser is a job it's, it has always been a job but you know lots of people who hold back from this but right now people have these little things these jobs as side also as apart from their regular job and some people have it as their main also as well and whichever way you have it, be it side, be it main also, it's just us. We're all hustling. We're all doing this to survive. We're all trying to fight against poverty, which is the fact. So even if we're in the same businesses with our friends and family, there shouldn't be any problem. We should be able to eat together in peace. We should be able to share ideas. We should be able to do things together. Because we're not fighting against each other in this hustling, hustling race. We're actually fighting against poverty. So I think we should... Be a lot more um, proactive with our, you know, telling people about our businesses. But um, we have to be very tasteful about our approach. We have to be tactful. We have to be intentional, you know, when we're telling people. We, we, we have to show that we really enjoy and believe in what we're doing, our also, in our business, in our brand. So we should be able to talk about it with enough knowledge to convince whosoever we're, we're talking to. And, um, uh, you know, we should always remember that whatever dream we have about our skills or business or side also, we should we should do everything to keep it alive. We should do everything to um, to make it prosper. It's just like saying if you sleep with your dream, you wake up with a purpose. We must have a purpose for our skills. We must have a purpose for our dream. 
which in turn turn into our also our brand our business we should be able to be proactive about it and uh, be able to talk about it and um, know about it more and um, we should also be fearless about it we should um, not be embarrassed about it and one thing one important thing is that we should not be afraid of failures because failures will come disappointment will come all sorts of things will come when you're still trying to build your also your brand your your business all sorts of also, some businesses will fail some also will fail don't let it discourage you you try another one all kinds of things will happen you just need to be able to um, um, stay on top of things and make things work make this happen for you now you will face challenges also building up your also building up your business building up your brand but learn to turn your challenges to opportunities because challenges will always come but make the best of every opportunities and don't be afraid to fail you're going to fail if you don't fail you don't learn so when you fail you learn from it and you get better at it so don't be afraid to fail because um you know it's from failing you will get to better yourself and better your business as well um, yes, I've said this, guys, you're also your business, your brand is your life. You need it to survive anyway. So why are you afraid to talk about it? Why are you ashamed to talk about it? Come on, make that noise so loud that we hear you all over the world. Sell yourself, sell your business, sell your brand in a good way. You know, be, be, be tasteful about it, be tactful about it. Don't let your approach, you know, come across as being desperate. But, you know, there's still other better ways you can tell people about your brand, your, your business. You know, you can tell people about your hustle and they will support you and, you know, things will work out. And uh, with this point, there, there, there are points you need to abide by to, to make your hustle work, to, to make your business, your brand work. And um, there are lists of things I've written down here. I hope I can remember. So don't mind, I'll be reading from the book, the points I've written down. Um, the very first one is you must acquire money management. You must be able to manage your money so acquire money management skills you must acquire time management as well time management is very important because that will help you in planning and executing um, um, projects you need to have a time management and you need to be able to manage your time also you need to learn to take um, tactical risk life itself is a risk so you shouldn't be afraid to take risk in your business it is very important you know how to take risk good one at what at that also you must get yourself busy doing something yeah because if you're developing your brand your skill you should regularly be doing things to make it better to make a better future for yourself now you must be a go-getter not a goal setter now listen to this point you set out a goal and then you achieve it but some people set out goals and don't achieve it so don't just be a goal setter be a go-getter as well be the two at once not just a goal setter you set it and then you leave it no set the goal and go for it so be a go-getter now my next point after that is that you shouldn't do dirty dirty businesses please guys it doesn't pay and please do not do drugs you don't need that in your life my next point is that you should take good care of your health this is very important you take very good care of your health and like i said before do not be afraid to make mistakes or failures because this will help you grow this will help your business as well it's very important um, also, it's very important you stay focused in your business. The eating driver of excellence of any also of any business is focus. So stay focused always. I hope I've been able to help you with all that I've said today, and um, I hope you you'll be able to get one or two points from what I've said, and you will use this to support your also your business, your brand, and I hope and pray it works for you. So to my next vlog or video, guys, keep coming back. Don't forget to share my, my videos with your family and friends. Tell your friends and family to subscribe, guys. Support me, guys. Subscribe to this channel so that I can keep bringing wonderful vlogs and creativity to you guys. And to my next um, vlog or video, guys, comparison is a thief of joy. Find yourself and be that. Okay? Don't compare yourself with anybody. You are enough. You are good as you are. Guys, to my next vlog or video, it's bye. See you next time.